Hi, I'm Andy Burrows for Tides TV, and I'm here with John Lopez, his process development chemist at Novartis. Thank you very much for joining today. Um, Hi, Andy. So first up, um, you're leading on a number of innovative projects, um, kind of looking to change the way we do chemistry in the pharma industry. Um, could you just tell me a little bit about that? Yes, um, since I was a child, I was fascinated by science fiction movies. Movies, for example, like uh, Star Trek, where you see people talking to androids, like mm -hmm. Data, having complex human-like conversations. Or, for example, the TV series Star, um, The Knight Rider, where you see an intelligent car. Um, in both cases, you see human beings with a close collaboration, um, in close collaboration to achieve awesome tasks. Mm. Today, we are not still there, but I'm convinced that we are living in really awesome times that we have, in the last century, we have done more discoveries and advancing technology than the, the whole history of humankind. Chemistry is not a, an exception to this trend. And for example, we have done really amazing uh, advance in, in, in methods for synthetic methods to have access to very complex molecules that we didn't have before. We have also done, unleashed the power of enzymatic transformations. We will be able to do modify enzymes to help us to do chemistry in a much more green and, and safer way. Digitalization is everywhere. And with digitalization comes uh, automation. We have today access to really, really, let's say, uh, very efficient ways to produce thousands of reactions in the lab to screen mm. many possibilities. Um, we have also uh, one thing which is coming that is really game changer for me is the use of machine learning and artificial intelligence in chemistry. All these factors will bring us to the finally to the stage where chemistry will become a data data driven uh, discipline. So when you're working with technology um, on that kind of leading edge, um, I imagine there's a lot of collaboration involved. Yes, totally, totally right. I think it's, 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 it's really, really important. I'm convinced that the collaboration is the only key to success. Collaboration in big pharma and big companies is not, is not granted. But I think we are doing a lot of progress on that direction. My blue sky blue of collaboration is, is, is even merging different companies in consortiums when we share data and we share knowledge. Um, of course, the challenge that comes with this uh, idea is, is it's, uh, how to keep our confidentiality and how to avoid bureaucracy. And I imagine um, there's also some challenges as well. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, we have a lot. I think the main challenge we have today, uh, we are facing, is we have to change the, a little bit the mindset. Most of the chemists, um, including the decision makers, they believe organic chemistry is a major science. So um, this is, it goes against the, the, the possibility to, uh, to, to support innovation in chemistry. That is one thing. Uh, one part which is also difficult, especially in big companies, bureaucracy and politics. Right. So we have to um, generate a kind of atmosphere, like a startup inside of the companies mm. to make innovation and, and, and not to be afraid of failure with innovative ideas. I think these are the main challenges that we are going to face, we're uh, facing. And I think um, probably everyone here today and everyone working in the farm industry, ultimate aim of kind of making lives better, making, uh, the, making, improving the life of the public and the people. Um, how do you think, uh, what sort of benefits do you see um, in this new way of doing chemistry for society? Yes, I, I think the benefits are amazing. It's, it's really, really a beautiful future which is waiting for us. I think we are going to be able to discover and to develop, uh, pro to do process development much faster and efficient than previously. We are going to generate more efficient and safer medicine for patients. We are going to expand life expectancy and the life quality of, of, of human beings. And my really, really dream is that, that we are going to be able to give access to medicines to every single human being in the planet. Today, we have uh, five billion people have access to medicines. Mm. We still have three billions to go. Uh, very exciting.
Great. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks to you, Andy. <laughs>